Climate change possesses significant threats to children's well-being today. Rising temperatures to contribute to extreme weather events affecting communities mm -hmm. worldwide. Children are vulnerable to hot waves, storms, and floods, disrupting their living conditions, education, and health. Additionally, changes in precipitation patterns impact water sources, leading to scarcity and sanitation issues affecting children's access to clean water. Furthermore, climate-related shifts affect agricultural potential, leading to food insecurity and malnutrition. This jeopardizes children's physical and cognitive development. Increased air pollution linked to climate change worsens respiratory conditions impacting children's health. Displacement due to climate-induced events also disrupts communities, often leaving children without stable homes. Addressing these challenges requires global cooperation, sustainable policies, and investments in resilient infrastructure to safeguard the well-being of children in the face of climate change. Recently, let me hope you to see what World Health Organization posted on their the uh, Twitter, excuse me, a little bit. So, children are already being forced to deal with the climate change world and they need our help. To ensure health services, schools, water systems, and the supply of nutritious food are resilient to climate change, we need urgent action, innovation, and increased financing. So, after this post, China replied, health authorities in China responding to the World Health Organization's question about mysterious, about the uh, mysterious respiratory disease that caused the closure of a large number of schools and an increase in the number of hospitalized people in northern China. They said, there is no need to panic. It is just bacteria and three infectious viruses. Adenovirus, LISV, and mycoplasm. They combine to infect children with lungs and high temperatures. We ask the families to stay at home, get vaccinated, and wear masks. Those are what people from China respond to the post of UNICEF, the post of health organization. Thank you.